Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1 to 3. Through this video, we are going to discuss about electric field due to an electric dipole at the equatorial point. Before watching this video, make sure that you have already watched part 1, 2 and 3 of electrostatics through which we discussed about Coulomb's law, properties of electric field lines, electric field due to point charge and electric field due to dipole at the axial point. Before we start the derivation, let us grab the mathematical tools which is necessary to do this derivation. They are nothing but cos theta equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. And according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. These are the mathematical tools you need to have to complete the derivation of this. That is electric field due to electric dipole at the equatorial point. Now let us have a quick recap of what is an electric dipole which we have already discussed in the previous video. In this we discussed that electric dipole moment equation is P is equal to 2QA. Direction of dipole moment will be along the line joining minus Q and plus Q. All these things are clear to you, right? Without wasting much time, let us see what is the equation for electric field due to a dipole at the equatorial line. For that, first let us consider an electric dipole consisting of minus Q and plus Q charge. They are separated by a distance A so that each of the charge will be at a distance A from the midpoint. P is the dipole moment and its direction will be along the line joining negative and positive charge. Equatorial point means this will be a point located perpendicular and it will be exactly above the midpoint. That is the line joining the point and the center will be a straight line like this Q. This point is called as equatorial point. To do the derivation, let us make some adjustments in the diagram. That is first we'll join the lines A and Q and B and Q. Mark the distance, sorry, mark the angle between them as theta. Distance of the point Q from the midpoint will be X. As you can see, near the point Q, there are two charges, right? One is minus Q located at A, another one is plus Q located at B, which means at the point Q, there will be two electric fields acting. One is EA, another one is EB. As you know, direction of electric field will be towards negative, away from positive. So direction of EA will be like this. It is pointing towards the point A because at point A, the charge is negative. Direction of EB will be away from the point charge. So this is how you can mark the direction of EB. Let us make the resultant vector because since these two vectors are making an angle 2 theta between them, we can find out the resultant by using parallelogram law of vector addition and the resultant vector will be along the diagonal of the parallelogram, right? So direction of net electric field is going to be from right to left. As you can see, this direction of EQ and when you look at the direction of P, dipole moment, they are going to be in the opposite direction. So direction of resultant electric field we already got now it will be opposite to dipole moment vector and you can try it represent it by using the unit vector minus i cap because it is going in the negative x axis let us find out what is going to be the magnitude of eq direction you already know it is in the negative x direction you can represent it by using the unit vector minus i cap to find out the resultant electric field intensity at the point q let us find out what are the values of EA and EB. Value of EA will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by AQ square, right? When you look at this triangle, AQ is going to be the hypotenuse. So you can use the equation hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. Base is A, altitude is X, right? So AB square, AQ square will be X square plus A square. EB also will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by x square plus a square because the distance bq is also going to be hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square that is x square plus a square. So we got the magnitudes of the individual vectors ea and eb. In order to get the resultant it is better 
that we resolve the vectors EB and EA into its rectangular components. Hope you all remember how to resolve the vectors into its rectangular components. First, let us resolve the vectors EB and EA along the x-axis. They are making an angle theta with EQ, right? So at that direction, it will be EB cos theta and EA cos theta. So along the x direction, the components are EB cos theta and EA cos theta. And EB and EA can have y components as well. Y components will be EB sine theta and EA sine theta. Now, the two vectors EB and EA are being resolved into four components. EB cos theta, EA cos theta, EB sine theta, and EA sine theta. In this, two of the components, that is EB sine theta and EA sine theta, they are acting in the opposite direction. So they will cancel each other because magnitudes of both of them are same and they are acting in the opposite direction. So that resultant will be zero. Whereas when you look at EB cos theta and EA cos theta, they both are acting along the same direction. So their resultant is going to be sum of them. So our resultant vector of EB and EA is going to be EB cos theta plus EA cos theta because sine theta factors are already cancelled. So we can find out the net electric field just by adding EA cos theta and EB cos theta. Right? So here you can write EQ is equal to EA cos theta plus EB cos theta. Values of EA and EB are the same. They are nothing but Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into x square plus a square. Right? So you can write 2q by 4 pi epsilon 0 x square plus a square into cos theta. To find out cos theta, let us look into the diagram. Consider any of the right angle triangle. I'm going to consider the triangle BOQ, that is this triangle. In this, what is going to be the value of cos theta? Cos theta will be equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Here, what is adjacent side? It is a divided by hypotenuse is going to be x square plus a square. So when you substitute the value of cos theta over here, you will get the answer as eq is equal to 2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by x square plus a square. This is going to be value of ea and eb and a by x square plus a square, the whole raised to 1 by 2 is going to be, because here you'll be having a root, right? Because it's hypotenuse only, isn't it? So a by x square plus a square, the whole raised to 1 by 2 will be the value of cos theta. Now you can see in the numerator, there are two terms, same terms with a different power, x square plus a square and x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2. So you can add the powers, right? Powers can be added. So it will become 1 plus 1 by 2 because here you have the power 1, here you have the power 1 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2. So the power of the denominator is going to be 3 by 2. And one more thing you can see, 2 into Q into A is nothing but P, right? So here equation for electric field becomes 1 by 4 of epsilon 0, Q into 2A divided by X square plus A square, the whole raised to 3 by 2. Q into 2A means P, right? So P by X square plus A square, the whole raised to 3 by 2. This is going to be the magnitude of electric field and its direction will be opposite to that of direction of P. So you can write down in vector form as vector eq equal to 1 by 4 of epsilon 0 p by x square plus a square the whole raised to 3 by 2 into minus i cap. Here also as we have done for the previous derivation here also we can have a special case that is for an ideal dipole. Ideal dipole is nothing but a has to be very very less as compared to x. So in this new denominator you can neglect a square. So it becomes what? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 because a can be neglected being very small. So this square and this 2 will get cancelled. You will get the equation as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by x cube. This is going to be the equation for electric field due to an electric dipole at the equatorial point for a ideal dipole. Ideal dipole means for a short dipole. If you remember the equation for EP, that was electric field due to the axial point for a short dipole, which we have discussed in the previous video, it was 2P by 4 pi epsilon 0 X cube. 
when you compare these two equations you can come to a conclusion right that is if for a is very very less than x then ep will be equal to two times this is nothing but eq right two times eq that is electric field due to an electric dipole at the axial point will be two times as that of the equatorial point which is true only for an ideal dipole so today we derived the equation of electric field due to an electric dipole at the equatorial point magnitude is this direction will be opposite to the direction of dipole moment hope it is very clear you enjoyed learning this topic of physics i hope and please do study this topic because it's one of the very very important and repeatedly asked board exam question thank you for watching have a great day ahead to all of you stay connected to get more physics topics understood in an easier way